Welcome everyone. In this session, we are going to talk about uh, backup request virtual machine. As I said, man, taking backup is one of the critical and crucial tasks to ensure you have required data to restore the services in case uh, you are recovering from a disaster. To backup a KVM guest, follow the below step. First, shut down your guest machine. Why uh, I'm saying uh, shut down your guest machine? Because there might be inconsistency if your machine is running, it is writing some data when you take snapshots. So you are going to face uh, inconsistent things. So if that's very critical thing, just shut down your VM or at least uh, suspend that VM up to you or one thing which you can do you can always uh, sync up your data at your guest vm level using sync then stop your application take snapshot or uh, uh, take back so these are a couple of ways but again shutdown is the preferred one then you take backup of your disk image file that's very easy you remember this path where all images are saved. So your image uh, will be here in this part. Just take a copy to your desired backup location. After that, uh, just take uh, a copy of uh, XML file also. XML file is basically configuration file though for your VM. So let's do a quick lab. So in my setup uh, right now, I go to one VM, which is running. I'm going to shut down this VM. By the time this VM gets shut down, I will prepare uh, for backup. So here I'm going to create a backup location saying uh, this need to be non operating system mount point where you want to store backup. I'm saying my VM backup, VM backups. Okay, so what I have to do, I'm just preparing. I have to go to this path, which is uh, the path to store all the images for guest VMs at present in my lab setup. It may vary on uh, your setup. Okay, let me list out the VMs. So this is the test VM1 operating system disk, right? So let's check what is the state, whether that VM got down or not. You can see it's gone. It means it is down. So we can take backup of this file. I'm just copying this file to target target is this one saying uh, i'm going to put name here i'm going to say this is backup and uh, i'm going to put today's date so this is the way your disk image backup is done next thing is uh, taking backup of your xml file for that particular vm which you want to backup there is a directory called etc lib word qmo in this directory there will be configuration files for your vm your running vm or active vm or whatever vm is defined basically in right word if i have to use defined vm so this is the vm test vm1 if you simply add this file you can see it uh, got all the configuration. What is the disk drive it is using? This is the disk drive. This is the uh, disk uh, bus, Vertio. These many CPUs installed. All the configuration is in this file. So I'm going to take backup of this file. Sorry for typo. The file is vm name.xml. This is vm name.xml. I'm just uh, going to move it to this file saying polling save format backup. And date. So, guys, uh, now in our backup uh, directory, we got uh, the disk for test VM1, we got the XML file for test VM1. So, it means our backups are done. And again, uh, this test backup directory, this should be backed up uh, using your tape backup or if you're using any nfs technology your snapshots whatever technology you are using for your backup so this particular location need to be backed up or oh, this can be nfs here so that need to be under snapshot policy if uh, that's standard in your setup that's again up to your requirement this is the way to take backups 
once your backup is completed you can resume the VM or you can simply power it on I'm going to start my VM yeah it started that's, that's it in this session guys thanks for watching